Hello, today we are going to show you how to set up a contact rotation um, within a workflow. So the reason why you'd want to use this would probably be if you have multiple sales reps on a team or if you want to divvy out contacts when you upload a new list. Um, so some people call this a round robin. Uh, that's what we call it internally. Um, but basically what it will do is over time, it will just distribute leads evenly between um, anybody who needs to work them or needs to be assigned. So if you go to workflows and click create workflows, what we're gonna do is create a from scratch contact-based workflow. I'm gonna name this round robin test. Um, and then you're gonna click next. From there, there's a couple of ways that you could trigger this workflow. Um, you could either have a list that's uploaded or a form that's been submitted. Um, if there are contacts that already exist, you could also do behavior-based um, triggers, but for this example, we're gonna do form submissions. So we'll say that the form is this test form that we've created, and it's gonna be that the contact is filled out on any page. And click save. All right, so uh, contact has submitted a form. Now what we wanna do is we want to rotate that contact between uh, our sales reps to make sure that they have ownership and our sales are notified. So you're gonna go down to assignment, rotate record to owner. And what you're gonna be editing is the contact owner property within HubSpot. Uh, if the contact already has an owner and you don't wanna change the ownership, sometimes there's an old employee or um, you do wanna overwrite, but in the case that you don't wanna overwrite the contact ownership, you're gonna click this checkbox. So you can rotate it between a specific person or between a specific team. Um, what we typically do is sales teams. Um, and the reason why we use sales teams and not specific people is if over time your sales team changes or you have hires or um, new hires, then you can just add the, the folks to your sales team instead of having to go through every single workflow and edit who is being rotated. Um, so we recommend doing sales teams or just creating teams in general. So once you've selected all that, you're gonna click save. And what will happen from here is anytime a contact submits a form, it's going to evenly rotate between the three uh, folks that are on the sales team team within HubSpot. And then from there, you can create a normal workflow. Maybe you wanna set an if-then branch to send an email or a Slack notification, um, or you wanna send an internal email notification to a the contact owner. Um, there's really a lot of stuff that you can do, but uh, from there, you just review and publish and make sure that your workflow is live. Um, something you may want to consider is the re-enrollment. Uh, if you want, if you know that contacts may be filling out forms multiple times and you do want to rotate those contacts multiple times, um, make sure that you allow uh, contacts to meet who meet that trigger to re-enroll. Um, if you don't want them to re-enroll and they already have a contact owner, um, then you don't have to worry about that. But sometimes you may want that. So that's how you create a round robin within HubSpot workflows.